am just getting up, getting started on some work for the day. But I wanted to quickly show you my fridge because I organized it yesterday or a couple days ago. And I'm feeling so happy like with this organization. So these little shelves are super cool. I bought them thinking I could stack three, but they're just not quite, there's not quite enough room. So I just put that one in front and then I have bigger ones down here. So there's two larger versions of that. So there's larger ones down there. That chicken is just kind of like looking ugly, but then I have my eggs, which I always keep in this little thing. This is the thing that I was excited about, the condiment holder, because this is the most annoying situation when here onwards was straight up jars of condiments. So that made a huge difference. This is just empty, but I've been keeping the juice because I like it to drink. Got Zevia, this is the best flavor of Zevia ever. And just, it's making me feel a lot better to just even have like space like this. Like I know that's weird, but to like want to like rest things in your fridge. But sometimes if I like take my cup and put it here, I'm filling it up with water. I'm putting a splash of Neo in it, whatever. It just makes more sense for me. So also organize the drawers down here. We put like dividers within these drawers, which I feel is really helpful. So I like that. This is still disastrous. Oh yeah, trying out a new coffee this morning. Clean, floral, and sweet. So we'll try that out. I'll let you know what I think. There's still like a couple little beans in there, of Alfred beans, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit picky when it comes to my blends. So I really don't like acidic coffee. I like super smooth. So we're gonna see how that is. <laughs> It is Thursday today. I leave tomorrow for a bachelorette. We're going to Galliano Island, one of my good friends. So there's a group of, I think like 12 of us. I don't know some of the girls going, but I know like a core group of them. So yeah, I'm just kind of getting organized, starting to pack. I leave like tomorrow afternoon for the trip. So we have to take a ferry there and then get to the island. We are just waiting. Our friends coming over tonight for dinner. Um, we're gonna make shrimp tacos together, so I'm excited to eat those. Oh. Sounds like my friends just arrived, so I will catch in with you later, but we'll get back on the batch and talk in a second. Good morning, vlog. I just woke up and starting to get ready. So we're going to Galliano Island and I have not packed. We leave at 2 p.m. I need to pack. I need to run to Michael's because we're getting the bride a cricket for as like a bachelorette gift. And I might go run and see if I can pick up a new sweatsuit. We'll see. If I find something I really like, I'll grab it. If not, I'll just go with what I have. I don't really have a sweatsuit that I like. So I figured this would be a good chance. It's like a cozy weekend. Um, it's super cold outside. It's like negative two or three today. So I figured this is a good chance for me to grab a sweatsuit and I'll get some good use out of it here still in the next couple months. So I'm just gonna have a shower. I was thinking about doing a light workout. I might do it from home because I don't really have time to go to the gym this morning. So I might do a Pilates workout from home. It's a pretty relaxed packing list, but I still need to get it done. And I just have like a couple things in my mind that I want to make sure I don't forget. So I am just going to do that stuff in the next little while here. I'll show you kind of what I pack and I'm going to make a coffee pretty quick. And I'm babysitting Cooper as well today. So we got two dogs in the house. Busy morning of just trying to fit it all in before we go. We're gonna stop at the liquor store on the way up because we're gonna need to pick up a bottle of wine or cider and a treat is what we're supposed to bring as guests. So I'm gonna try to think of what cool or like tasty cider I wanna bring. I'm sure it's gonna be lots of laughs and I'm gonna get started on everything. I don't have a lot of time today. So I'm gonna just get going and I'll take you along with me. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but 
I, when I go away, I feel like I have to boy proof the house. So like, for example, I bought this salad yesterday. So we bought this one a couple days ago. I know that I have to put this one on top or else Jay is gonna make this one not looking at the expiry dates, which is normal, but like I'm such a crazy person with expiry dates. I've really been trying to be better at latte art, but I just can't master the almond milk pour. And it, it doesn't help if you have too much. No, my milk's not frost enough. Also, if you have too much, like you can't do a proper pour, but that was a perfect amount. Two new things that I just picked up. This lotion, my friend recommended me this because I get those bumps on my arms. I think a lot of people get them. I think it's called KP and I have never been able to find something that makes those go away. It's a big insecurity of mine for sure. So my friend also gets them and she said she tried out this lotion which is new at Sephora and it's an exfoliating body serum. It has all these retinol, lactic, lactic acid, urea, and squalene in it. And I tried it for a couple of days. I think I've used it for two days so far and I definitely like actually have noticed a little bit of a difference. So I'm gonna keep it up. One that I've used previously is this one. Didn't really see many results from this one. I also grabbed this Color Wow. You put in and it leaves your hair super shiny and silky when you blow dry it. So I used that yesterday. I found it to be quite nice. So probably keep it up as well. So I just used that Color Wow in my hair. I don't know if you can see like the shine that that gives you. You can kind of tell. I was having a lot of flyaways and I don't know like why because I haven't colored my hair in ages and I'm pretty gentle with my hair but I was having tons of flyaways and I feel like it just it kind of gets rid of those. All right, I'm changed. I have been wearing the heck out of this vest. It was such a good purchase. I was really on the fence when I bought it because I had already gone through the checkout line at Zara and I saw it on my way out and I'm just so happy I went back and got it. It's a good length, it's a good size, it's not too oversized. So I'm just wearing this vest, a little Brandy Melville Henley, jeans from Abercrombie as always, and then my vest. I'm gonna go head out now, it's 11 o'clock. I think I'll have enough time to do all my errands and be back by like one at the latest, hopefully. I'm not quite done packing yet, so that's an issue, but I have a call and it was supposed to be in 15 minutes, it got pushed, so I'm gonna have to take the call from the car. So I might just pack a couple little things before I head out the door and then zip off. Quickly show this um, cute little vintage purse I got. Such a cute shape, it's kind of like a fen Fendi baguette shape with the, how it's long, and it actually will hold a ton. And like, I love the stitching. I think it's so cute, a little Ralph Lauren moment. I'm driving right now and my sign is up there on one of my listings that's coming soon. And it looks like it fell off the post. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna have to go see where it is. I hope it didn't fly off. There was a big windstorm a couple nights ago and I hope it didn't fly off and like hit a car because it's really close to the street. I guess it was so windy that the sign literally broke, like these broke off of that. So I'm gonna have to contact my sign guy and see if he can get a new post up here. But I'm gonna maybe leave this here at the side of the house, just in case he comes and wants to put it back up. What the heck? Are they corny or are they cute? This is such a good store. I totally don't have time to be shopping right now, but I'm just gonna look around. Just a quick little peek. I haven't been here in ages either. Okay, we're getting close. Easy press is not what we need. We must be at the front, maybe. Okay, we got the goods. They had one left in stock in this color, so that was lucky. Okay, I got the cutest freaking sweatsuit ever. Literally the cutest sweatsuit. It's brown. I love it. I'll show you it once I get home, but it's just a little sneak peek. Okay, this is the sweatsuit I got. The one thing I love about this, it's it's that heavier, like thicker material, not the material that's going to pill. This kind of material lasts forever. And I like that this was a green stitch in here. I thought that was kind of cool and unique. Branding on the leg as well. Oh, and on the butt. So yeah, I'm super happy with this purchase. It's so comfy, good quality, 
gonna last forever and cute. <laughs> Okay, we're at the ferry and we are gonna catch the 345 to go to Galliano. We're probably gonna be some of the first people there at the Airbnb, so we're gonna check in and find our rooms and a good spot to sleep. And then, I haven't told anyone this, but I think we should go see the um, sandstone caves on Galliano because they're at the beach. They're like these really cool, like, caves at a beach that are like carved out by like the water. They like look really cool. That'll be cool. Yeah. Anyways, that's the update. We have our um, yerba mates. We're caffeinated. Can't wait to see everyone else when they get there. Okay, we are just docking in Gallia at Galliano, I guess. And we're gonna head to the Airbnb. The bride got delayed on her ferry. She's coming from Vancouver, so she's actually not gonna be there yet, but we're gonna go hopefully get in and get a little like setup going scope it out figure it out and then um, see how the Airbnb is so it's right now is 510 and I think they'll be arriving closer to like 9 30 so we have quite a while so we'll just see how it goes and lay low for the rest of the evening Airbnb, it's so crazy. I think we actually found it through like a TikTok, and it's just like so eclectic. But the view is insane. That's the water out there. There's a hot tub right there. You can't see it right now, but we're about to go in it. And then there's a sauna over here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, we're gonna go in the hot tub. This is a fertility haven. <laughs> fertility eggs? Don't go near those, Michonne. Yeah. Why are they for fertility? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> get ready with us while we're at the craziest Airbnb ever. So much fun. Great group of people. The house scares the shit out of me. Essentially this place like has tapestries all over the wall. Seems like it's satanic. There's literally animals in the walls. Creepy crawlies that we heard as we were sleeping in the walls. Mm -hmm. And there's a book about cults. We're just getting ready now because we're going out for dinner to a restaurant called Lola. This restaurant is Southeast Asian cuisine, and I'm really excited to try it. Okay, I'm going for a crimp point tonight. So I'm using my three barrel crimper. We're into that. And mm -hmm. our whole theme, we're gonna be like cowgirls. So we're wearing like boots, jeans, jean jacket vibe. Oh, I'm wearing a black like mm -hmm. collared shirt, and I'm tying it. Like a cowgirl, yeehaw! <laughs> 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 Yesterday. Okay, we're heading to dinner and we're feeling less than average <laughs> this time. Not not physically, but internally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and maybe mentally well. too. And mentally as mentally. well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I think dinner will turn it around for us. I'm kinda slumped. I'm suddenly exhausted. It's bloated and I need like a yeah. Coffee, but it's like six o'clock. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. We can do that. We can do. I guess we can have a coffee. shaft. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're mm -hmm. meant for. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly reason. meant to be. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go to dinner and hopefully uh, pick up this gravy train a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And it's dark and snowing here, so I think that's attributing to our mood. It's a, just it a little scary. It's a little sketchy. Yeah, it's a little scary. Very spooky. Yeah. Okay. 
We'll see how it goes. Get in. Oh, very cute. <laughs> we are extra. Okay, we're back in Victoria. We took the early ferry home today at 7.45. So I'm just heading to a showing now. Overall, really great weekend, really fun. The meal we had last night was like so amazing. It was literally a 14 course meal. I wish I filmed it all, but the lighting in there was so bad. But it was, the flavors were amazing. It was like, oh, it was so good. We had like oysters, I think you saw. We had two salads, soup, multiple entrees. And it was family style, which was nice. So we all got to just like share, but there was literally 14 different dishes multiples of each that came out and it was just like crazy we were all so stuffed after so i'm gonna end the vlog there we had a really great time a lot of fun celebrating our friend laurel and we love her so much so we were so happy to be able to get away we were a bit worried about the snow but luckily everything worked out and we were able to get back down the driveway this morning because the driveway of the airbnb we're at was super steep so um, we didn't know if we'd be able to make it down this morning, but we did, so that was great. And overall, just a awesome weekend of lots of laughs with our friends. But I'm gonna end the vlog there. I will pick back up this week with some more, but um, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.